2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 13 through 15. But we are bound to give thanks always to Yahweh for you, brethren beloved of Yahweh, because Yahweh hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through the separation of the Spirit and believe it and belief of the truth. Whereunto he called you by our gospel, a glad tiding, oh, yeah. to the obtaining of the honor of our Savior, Yahshua the Messiah. Therefore, brethren, stand fast and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, whether by word or by epistle. You know, Yahweh let me know that, you didn't think about this, oh. our brothers, they died a long time ago, and they wrote the, 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 the glad tidings for us. And when you read it, it's, it's a personal letter from them to, to us. Let us know that we, they're giving thanks to Yahweh for us. They hadn't seen us yet. These are many, many years down the road. They're saying they thank Yahweh for that because we've been chosen. We've been called by Yahweh in a very, from the very beginning to, you know, they stand fast and hold to the tradition which we have been taught. And as believers of Yahweh, we, un we understand, you know, as believers, sometimes we're all going to struggle with some things in life. Yeah. But you know, when the word comes from the Pope, it's for all of us. Hallelujah. When I speak things for me, from here, I speak for me, myself, to everybody. And so believers of Yahweh, we got to understand that we've been called out. We've been separated. Hallelujah. This letter is, is for us. Oh, yeah. And it's been given to us to let us know that Yahweh has ordained us to receive this word. That's this right. word. So I, I think about the prophets who wrote these things for us. Yeah. Yeah. And to me it becomes overwhelming because they didn't know me when they was writing all of this. All right. They didn't even, even imagine me. I could have been pink, yellow. They didn't know. All they knew was this word was going to spread down the road. That's right. And that they're telling me over 2,000 years ago, this word right here is for you, Hallelujah. brother and Yahweh. That's right. And for me, it, I take it because I realize how good Yahweh is. Oh, and I take it personally because I realize that a lot of things are happening in our world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And so I'm going to give you something that was shared to me. It's by prophetess Sylvia Brown. Come on. And she prophesied this. So I'm telling you, you don't have to be in Yahweh for Yahweh to use you. You can oh, be yeah. an alcoholic, you can be anything, and Yahweh will use you. Oh, yeah, that's right. She says, in around 2020, a severe pneumonia-like illness was spread throughout the globe, attacking the lungs and bronchial tubes and resisting all known treatments. Almost more baffling than the illness itself would be the fact that it would suddenly vanish as quickly as it arrived, attack again 10 years later, and then disappear completely. So I'm here to tell you, this battle is real. Yahweh is real. Yahweh will use who he wants to use. That's right. And we got to understand, we got to walk in faith, and we got to understand that it's all about Yahweh. Because Yahweh's word is being fulfilled. His prophecies are being fulfilled. We might not hear it all, we might not see it all, but Yahweh's word is, you know, it's important that we know that I love you. You are my brothers and sisters. I'm not trying to stunt your growth. I want to uplift you, because I'm going to need you to pray for me. Yeah. And you're going to need me to pray for you. And we're going to need each other along the way because there's a lot of discouragement out there. And you look at, the, like I said, you look overall at, at the, the new level of people that we have out there. Nobody's talking about Yahshua. Nobody's talking about salvation. You know, the other day I went to a funeral Friday. Mr. Taylor, I don't know if some of you guys knew him. We did a, did a roofing on the, on the assembly a long time ago. But they had this funeral Friday. And while they're praying, people still walking around. No respect for Yahweh. Mm. So where we at mindset wise, mm. it let us know that we are special, we are peculiar people in Yahweh because right. this word was sent to us yeah. from way back centuries ago. And here we are now receiving it and re embracing it and re spreading it. So we pray and know we, we know that we're gonna have prophecies that are gonna be out there, but we're not moved by that. On, All we know is I'm gonna live and move, I'm gonna move, I'm, I'm gonna live for Yahweh. And I know that whatever happens, only what I do for Yahweh, you know, what I do for Yahweh is going to last. Yeah. So believers of Yahweh, it's important that we speak to our young people. Mm -hmm. We talk to our young people. We love them. We tell them the truth about Yahweh. Mm -hmm. 
that we tell them all the things that they need to hear. And it's the absolute truth. Hallelujah. Because the absolute truth is not being delivered to so many people. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you'll be surprised at people who know about the name Yahweh. Mm -hmm. That's, right. That's why all we're doing what we're supposed to do. Hallelujah. Now I get to the point when I talk about Yahweh, I don't explain it. I say, go look it up. Mm -hmm. Because because every time you talk about it, you got to go through this whole process. This is a burden to me. It ain't a burden to me, but I, every time I talk to somebody, I got to break down the name of Yahweh every single time. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to talk Yahweh and talk about things of Yahweh, then I tell you about the word hallelujah, but you got to go do some whole research. Mm -hmm. Right, because I can tell you all day long. You got to be in your heart, yeah. you know. But as believers of Yahweh, we understand that we are chosen. Yeah. We are specifically chosen by Yahweh for this task, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. and we got to be about our Father's business. Yeah. And understand that these prophecies are going to come, and they're going to pass. Oh yeah. But one thing about it, Yahweh's word is going to remain with us. It's going to protect us. It's going to guide us. Oh, yeah. And we have to make sure that we always push forward. Mm -hmm. And you think about someone who who need to be pushed forward and and, and always encouraged. That is our pastor. Sunday right. in, he may love Yahweh, but Sunday in and Sunday out to come in and play, to play the computer, you know, play the, uh, uh, the keyboard, then preach the word, yeah. and then you got to be over a church where you have people. Sometimes you got good, you got bad, you got everything going on. Mm -hmm. and he got to be constantly reminded, or constantly, you know, um, have a mindset to be prayed up for the word of Yahweh and understand that all this Yahweh I know I don't take lightly. Mm -hmm. It's a hard job. Mm -hmm. It's a very hard job. Mm -hmm. So believers of Yahweh, let us pray for him and let's pray the word of Yahweh and let us go out and know that we have been set aside for this particular task. Mm -hmm. And let's not take it for granted. Let's hold fast to it. Let's build on it and spread the word of Yahweh. And don't become burdensome with trying to explain the name of Yahweh all the time. Let them do some research. Because you'd be surprised when you start talking to them, they tell you, oh, I know about it. Yeah. And why did you let me go through all that before? <laughs> That's where we get nowadays. So believers of Yahweh, the people are not ignorant. They are very wise. So let us bow our heads. Yahweh, Heavenly Father, Most High, Precious King, thank you once again for your goodness and for your unmerited favor, Yahweh. Keep us in guidance and give us strength and understanding of your word, Yahweh. Continue to look down upon our young people and touch them and guide them and give them understanding of your word, Heavenly Father. Look down upon Yahweh those who say pray for me. Look down upon Yahweh those, Yahweh, who Yahweh are on the right track, Yahweh. Keep them and guide, and guide them, Heavenly Father. Just y'all let us know that you are able, Heavenly Father, that you can protect us and that you will give us strength, oh Yahweh. I just want to say thank you right now for the goodness and for your unmerited favor. Yahweh, just mold your people, Heavenly Father, and just keep us and just guide us. Keep us under your anointing. Keep us under your presence right now, Yahweh. Lead us, O Heavenly Father, we may be examples, Yahweh, that you may speak to our hearts right now, Yahweh. That we may, Yahweh, be this epistles, Yahweh, that they may spread the word of your, your, your the word, Yahweh. That we may stand fast, Yahweh, keep us in God under your anointing. Let your presence be filled with us, Yahweh. Let it be present be given to us, Yahweh. That we may, Yahweh, go out and lay hands on those, Yahweh, who may not believe. That we may go out and heal right now, Yahweh. That we may, Yahweh, go proclaim your word in regard to the count of the number of people. Yahweh, guide us and give us courage, give us courage, Yahweh, give us strength and give us direction. Oh, Heavenly Father, just be with us in all things, Yahweh. Give us the love of the Messiah and give, give us humility and give us wisdom. We just want to say thank you in Yahshua Mashiach. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank Yahweh for all things. This time, make some prayer yourself for our lifting up the offering. And we ask everyone to stand. We ask